Hi, my name is Andy Zimmerman. I'm the CTO here at Grace. And the goal of this presentation is to show you just how easy it is to take a maintenance hub control gate configuration and transfer it into uh, the Rockwell PLC environment using the EDS AOP approach in Studio 5000. So for this example, what we're really looking to do is just take a simple network of a handful of our vibration and temperature nodes, hook those up wirelessly to a control gate here in the middle, and then make all that data that we're collecting available to a, an on-site PLC. So uh, just to give you kind of an overview of the example that we're looking at here, uh, we've got a simple blower application uh, where we've got four of our vibration nodes deployed and one control gate, which is gonna be collecting data from those nodes and making it available to uh, that customer's PLC. Uh, there's only a few steps to this particular process um, and we'll start here in our maintenance hub. So you're looking at our control gate configuration screen and really all we need to do from a configuration perspective, we are assuming that you've already configured these nodes from a vibration and a, a wireless perspective. All we need to do is assign which of these vibration nodes here on the right are going to be transmitting data to that PLC through the control gate on the left. Now, if we had more than one control gate in this application, uh, there could be a mix and matching of uh, vibration nodes to control gates. But in this case, it's pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna drag these nodes from the right to the left. Uh, it's basically assigning them to that control gate for use by the PLC through that particular device. Uh, once I've done that, I can then come here and export uh, a file here, which can be downloaded. Um, and then the, the last step of this process is to bounce over into the Studio 5000 environment. We're going to create a new module. Uh, so this is for that control gate that we were just talking about. So I'll set this up with a specific name, right, which is uh, driven by the serial number of that particular device. Um, I'm going to give it an IP address, and I'm going to come in here and make sure that all of my appropriate data connections are enabled. Okay, so at that point, that module is created. That's really the only manual part of, of this task. From there, we're going to import the routine uh, that we just downloaded, and we're going to bring that into our program. All right, and that will give us the appropriate uh, controller tags, right, from the device itself, as well as kind of the local tags uh, that stem out of the main hub itself. Um, so these, for example, on the vibration nodes, we're going to be looking at the configuration values uh, that we've set through the maintenance hub, as well as, um, you know, once you start hooking this up and collecting data, you'll have tags for each various data channel. Uh, that we're collecting from that particular device. And so from there, kind of you get up and running and uh, you ride off into the sunset. Obviously, there's a little bit more complexity to this once you get into more uh, complex situations. Uh, but at that point, you know, I hope you reach out to us, our customer success department, and we will uh, we'll, we'll work with you to get, get everything configured.